We'll come back. Well, Telcom will sponsor the Domestic Netball League, which starts on the 10th May, in, of May in Pretoria. That's, of course, netball, this regarding netball. Netball South Africa President now, Cecilia Mulukwane, joins me in to chat about what those developments mean for, the, for her federation. Ma, uh, firstly, congratulations on a new sponsor. Um, how much difference will this make for your and your federation? Good morning, and thank you for inviting us. It's going to make a very big difference. Because when you look at our World Cup year, this is this year, we wouldn't have, go, we wouldn't have prepared well if we didn't, you know, have the, the telecom sponsor. It, it means a lot to us because it, it says we are going to prepare the girls well, and after that we, we're going to have a, a league that we didn't even think that we'd have in this year. So the netball league this year is going to be called the Telcom Netball League. So the girls that were sitting at home wondering whether we will have this league or not, now they are definite to show that come the 10th of May at Rembrandt Hall at the University of Pretoria, the first whistle will blow. Considering the, uh, the large number of participants in this country, the number of players who play netball um, in this country, why has it been so difficult to, do you think it's been difficult to attract a um, corporate sponsor? Look, corporate sponsors don't believe in women's sport. And I think it's time we change things around. We, we show them that as women's sport, we can also perform as much as our male counterparts can do that. So I think we've shown them. We went to Quad Series in January and we beat the Commonwealth champions, which is England. And we were beaten in sudden death by New Zealand. And everybody knows how that game went. And then we, we, we played against the, the world champs, I mean, Australia, and we did well. So it shows that the girls are performing. I also say, look at what Bayana Bayana did. And after they did something, then they start believing in us mm. and I want to thank I want to thank Telcom because of they didn't even wait for us to announce the 2023 World Cup you know host as South Africa they they didn't wait for INF to do that they believed in us way before even INF can when you announce that you know South Africa the city of Cape Town is hosting the World Cup so Telcom believed in us as much as some of our sponsors that believed in us before you know this this World Cup announcement and I wonder why. You know, it's my question always. Mm. Why is the corporate world not believing in women? And we are the ones that gave birth to them. <laughs> we are the ones that, you know, do everything for them at home. I don't know, just to pop, pop in money for us. Maybe they're afraid that when, when we become professional and we start doing things on our own, we won't give them the attention we're giving them at home. Speaking of netball, you've recently obviously been announced as a 2023 uh, World Cup um, host. And you guys chose Cape Town. Why? Cape Town is a tourist destination. They've got everything that you, everyone wants. I mean, the hotels that are around the vicinity of the, the, the city ICC, where we're going to host the world champs, the transport, you know, the security, everything you can talk about Cape Town. Look at uh, Robben Island. We, we sold it with Robben Island to say the former president, the late former president, Roli Nelson, Nelson Mandela, was there for 27 years. So they want to see Robben Island. You go and see Seven Wonders of the World, the Table Mountain. Mm. It's easy for us to sell Cape Town, unlike any other city in, in, in South Africa. Quick one, I'm running out of time. So the latest report on transformation in 2018, it says you guys were moving in the right direction. This year, Minister Togozlekasa said you have reached your targets. Um, what efforts are you making to ensure that you never have to be talking numbers or transformation in terms of your black profile? You know, we talk to our members and they understand what we want and they do exactly that. And now in netball, it's not about color anymore. It's about, you know, merit and doing things the correct way. We follow instructions and systems and our governance is, I think, is one of the best because even SASCO, when they wanted to do their governance, they used the netball South Africa one. Thank you so much, Ms. Cecilia um, Mulukwane, joining us in studio to chat all things netball in studio. Stay ahead here on Morning.